Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Silver Dot International where we're going to do another up close inspection of a silver bullion coin. So on the last day of 2019 we're having a look at a commemorative issue which is the 2020 Australian silver one ounce kookaburra, the 30th anniversary. In the bullion world the silver kookaburra series, which was begun by the Perth Mint in 1990, is a well known collectible bullion coin. Between 1990 and 2010, each year had a maximum mintage limit of 300,000 pieces. And although between 1992 and 2007 the declared mintage was much lower as you can see in the following two screenshots. Information about mintage figures of the Kookaburra series can be obtained from the Perth Mint website, of which I will put a link in the description box. Starting from 2011, the mintage quantity was increased from 300,000 pieces to 500,000 pieces. Which it has been ever since. The Perth Mint in 2013 actually was planning on raising the numbers of Kookaburras to strike. But they didn't follow up on these plans and therefore the maximum mintage of 1 ounce silver bullion coins has been 500,000 pieces since 2011. The kookaburra bird is a uh, yeah, bird native uh, to Australia, just like the koala is an, uh, another animal which is uh, indigenous to Australia and not uh, forgetting the kangaroo of course. And they are key figure symbols on other bullion coins that come from the Perth Mint. And therefore we refer to these Australian bullion coins as kookaburras, koalas, kangaroos, etc. This certain kookaburra in Australia is known for its distinctive sound, which said resembles human laughter. And maybe you've seen relatives of the kookaburra in your area, which are the red and blue kingfishers. Because in the end, yeah, the kookaburra belongs to the family of the kingfisher birds. And I've uh, once in my life seen a kingfisher with my own eyes. But the region where I live isn't suited for uh, kingfishers because of human intervention. And yeah, we don't have many in this region. And with human intervention in this case, I mean year-round management of uh, the waterways. Because this uh, area is beneath the sea level. And uh, yeah, the water has to be uh, maintained over here. Because uh, else we will uh, get uh, wet feet and uh, other stuff. So the silver kookaburras uh, next to the 1 ounce also come in a 2 ounce, 10 ounce and 1 kilogram version and diverse gilded high relief or colored special editions. The advantage of the kookaburra bullion coins is that they come in a capsule as you can see from the mint and 20 of these go in one plastic wrap roll. So even though the capsule might get scratched over time the coin itself would maintain an uncirculated condition Although, uh, yeah, that uh, would have to be that the quality of the mint uh, itself then uh, also has to be uh, good before it uh, goes in the capsule. Let's go through the general specifics. The Kookaburra coin has a diameter of 40.6 millimeters. The thickness is 3.21 millimeters. And as you can see, we have a uh, reeded edge over here. Before 2018, the purity was 99.9% .9 and since 2018, 99.995 silver, uh, as is in the case with this 2020 silver bullion coin. The reverse shows the kookaburra sitting on a rooftop, as you can see over here. And yeah, he's just uh, doing his thing, and by the way, um, looking uh, on its beak because it's opened, I would say that the kookaburra is uh, singing a very uh, nice song just relaxing for the moment in the sun 
which is in the background uh, with the shining rays uh, as you can see uh, over there and uh, yeah but so the sun is uh, shining for this uh, little uh, bird and he's just relaxing for a moment no hasty stressful you know yeah, the usual bird race just taking it easy for a minute so above the bird we have uh, in text uh, yeah as you can see Australian kookaburra below the bird we can see the 30th anniversary furthermore the weight of one ounce the fineness or the purity of a 9999 silver and uh, yeah this uh, side is uh, very nice uh, to look at of course just like uh, the previous uh, kookaburras in the, this uh, series I'm not sure who the designer is of the reverse but I think perhaps Stuart Devlin since he also did the kookaburra design on the obverse which is different than usual as we will see in a moment because when I turn it over we have in the top of the coin still the sex portrait of Queen Elizabeth II wearing the George IV state diadem and the coronation uh, necklace and this is done by uh, Jody Clark and below that we see an uh, yeah, extra bonus of a Kuka Burra bird um, hiding in the plants and uh, this one is uh, not singing I think and uh, yeah the portrait of uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, on this uh, side is uh, in a miniature version but still uh, present only in the top of the coin with the yeah, year it was issued 1999 and the year that we're uh, almost uh, into 2020 and um, yeah the, furthermore we see the denomination of uh, one Australian dollar is Elizabeth II and uh, Australia so I bought this 2020 Kookaburra silver one ounce bullion coin for 20 euros and 29 cents which is 22 US dollars and 76 cents at a time when the silver price was around 17 dollars uh, yeah 17 dollars something like that so as a starting silver stacker I'm going to pick up uh, a few more of these in uh, 2020 because although these uh, silver uh, kookaburras from 2020 might cost a couple of bucks more than a philharmonica and a maple leaf or a silver eagle for example the kookaburras have a cap mintage are a highly recognized and stable bullion coin which is tradable over the whole planet and they standard come in a capsule but I'm pretty certain that's one of the reasons why you would pay a little bit more than a maple leaf or a silver eagle and the bullion coins come from a stable and well-known mint of course which is the Perth mint and furthermore and let's not forget this is a commemorative issue the 30th anniversary of the kookaburra coin and of course the premium isn't that high well at least in my eyes it isn't because if I would buy let's say two or three in each monthly purchase uh, next year then I would pay yeah let's say uh, five euros more than uh, three maple leaves uh, for a total, total sum of three coins so overall a stable and liquid uh, silver bullion coin that's worth purchasing in 2020 as a starting silver stacker uh, like me or an uh, or if you're an established uh, silver stacker and uh, European or Asian theater so that's it for now in regards to the 2020 silver bullion kookaburra one ounce coin I hope to see you all in the next video regarding silver or two euro coins historical coins will also make a cameo so stay tuned and subscribe to not miss any of these coming videos in 2020 I wish you all the best in the new year of 2020 the year of the mouse of which I also have a video link in the description box and the end screen for now, all I can say, be blessed, be fortunate, and above all, in good health. Take care, and see you all in the next one in 2020. Have a happy new year. Cheers, everybody.